Right, mash tons. I really want to get into all grain, so basically I needed to try and figure out a mash ton. Um, a lot of the designs out there were too expensive for me, so I decided to make my own, based on the Papazian mash ton. Here we go. So, need two 20 litre buckets, and there's the inside of one of the buckets, just plain white sort of food grade stuff. Um, I've cut off the outside material, and uh, so that they can both fit into each other. I only did that on one of them. And uh, just looking at the bottom of this mash tun here. Um, cut some holes in the bottom, so this is our false bottom. And here's a tap which I uh, actually grabbed off another fermenter. And just drilling a hole in the outside or bottom bucket. And this is the cap which is going on the other side of the tap, which I drilled some holes in as well. And that sort of allows the wort to flow through the tap from the other side. There you go there, that's it attached. Um, there you go, you can sort of see a bit of a view there where it's sort of getting the inside and outside. So, insulation time. <laughs> I've used a um, closed uh, cell foam uh, which was used for water pipes. And uh, you can see I'm just layering it on. Basically got about one to two inches thick uh, over the whole thing, even on the bottom as well, you can see there. A uh, little bit of tinfoil on the lid and some foam underneath that. And then some more foam on top of the lid. Another inch or two. And finally, duct tape time. So we're duct taping the whole damn thing. Um, just to make sure that foam stays and creates some no air, uh, sorry no airflow pockets. Um, so there's the lid. Starts to take the shape of your... Um, sort of igloo shaped uh, cooler isn't it so um here's duct tape pretty much done on the lid and starting to get around the sides and uh there you go so fully duct taped ready to roll and well, well yep try uh we got the inside of the tap as well so yeah there you go oh and there's our first problem <laughs> water leak uh this was due to the tap not being on tight enough that's it so, tested, got about 65, 66 degrees, left it for a whole hour, came back about 64 degrees. That's Celsius, so um, whole, a whole degree or two is not a problem. And uh, feeling the outside of the uh, mash tun, just felt cold as, well, room temperature that is, you weren't feeling any of the heat coming, uh, coming through. So, um, there you have it. Just a real, real quick overview of the uh, homemade mash tun, and uh, well, hope you guys found that interesting. Um, judging by those photos, um, if anyone's keen on uh, making their own, uh, you should be able to um, pick up some ideas from that. Um, I haven't come up with a name for it yet. Um, as I said, I did base it on the um, Charles uh, Papaz um, or the Papazian mash tun, um, so I thought I might give it a slightly different name, seeing as I. Um, kind of reinvented the damn thing really, um, added some uh, insulation and um, got it to do what I wanted. So um, that's about it. Alright, cheers for that guys. See ya.